Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no bull video. Welcome to 2022. I did not create any videos for a while and after I think month or two months of being idle, I look at my uh, channel statistics and I was quite surprised. My subscription jumped by 100 people, my views increased and I had answer a lot of interesting questions and what I would like to say thank you so much for everyone who is subscribed to my channel who everyone who asking questions because the whole purpose of my channel is to help others um, I would like to re-emphasize I don't get any financial benefits of making those videos I'm just trying to spread the word of my experience with goods and services that I um, try and have opinion in my life also sometimes I create health related videos where I help people with uh, nutrition um, health goals a bit of physique and a bit of exercise so if you would like to me to create any videos on any of those topics please let me know uh, there were many people asking uh, how get they support my channel uh, thank you so much. You are already supporting my channels. Every single view really helps me to get my word era, uh, out there and help other people to find my videos. However, if you would like to go one step further, please subscribe. If you already subscribe and you would like me to help more, um, the way that I try to monetize my channel is to create um, what they call affiliate program and I post links down below only for products that I believe in uh, I would like to reiterate I test a lot of the products but I would never recommend products that I don't believe in so products that I believe in are all link um, underneath the video and description section and if you'd like to support this channel and you would like to buy one of those products uh, please click on the link and the commission for that product will be sent to me. It's a very small amount. It doesn't uh, cover any time that I spend on my channel. But you know what? It's a token of appreciation and I definitely appreciate it. So this video, uh, I would like to recap what uh, I say in 2021 and if I have any opinion change on the products that I reviewed. I cannot list all the products in this video but I would like to touch first uh, biggest 10 products that people are interested in and share a bit of uh, I guess experience to use those products uh, um, um, one year longer so I think this is where we discover um, uh, I guess pitfalls of the products and, um, and learn uh, lessons and make decisions for next time so uh, first product I would like to uh, mention is my solar system. To remind you, my previous house is a Fronius 5 kilowatt inverter and 6.6 .6 kilowatt uh, panels. Uh, so inverter was limited to 5 kilowatts and panels uh, were sending uh, generated electricity inverter. It was shaping into 5 kilowatt, going to Tesla Powerwall battery. And that system was great. However, I did not like Fronius inverter and I still got the same opinion that maybe it's very reliable inverter but it's noisy and there are many inverters uh, currently in the market that do the same job without making noise. Most of the inverters coming from uh, uh, in Australia with 5 plus 5 years warranty so if you'd like peace of mind most of other inverters doing well. My current system on my current roof is uh, 13.2 kilowatts worth of panels, uh, 10 kilowatt Goodwe inverter, and it's all shaped to 5 kilowatts. Um, the panel split at 30 60, so 30 percent of panels on the east side, um, um, and the 60 percent on the, on the west side, and and that cycle uh, I've got consistent power generation through the day and through all seasons of the year. Um, the system is working well and so far a uh, year later I'm happy with the whole setup. 
I don't have anything to add. Um, if anything will fail or any service or uh, it will fault or whatever, I'll report. So my opinion about Goodway Inverter and um, panel still stand. I will link video above again uh, my first impressions of the solar systems. Have a look, have a watch. If uh, if you got any questions, ask away, and I will make probably another video to do with solar. Otherwise, moving to the next one, uh, washing machine. I was reviewing Haya washing machine, uh, 10 kilogram uh, front loader. Uh, two things that I believe are really good in that washing machine. Oh, probably three things. It's a budget washing machine. When I say budget, not the cheapest one. But you know what? If you aim for Bosch or Miele or whatever other fancy brands, here does the same job, maybe even better, uh, at half price. But what I really wanted is a new technology, which is UV sanitization of the water, which basically kills 99.9% bacteria, and also uh, soap auto dosing so i just chuck half liter of the soap in and it's enough for probably two three months worth of washing and the washing machine will tell me uh, when i need to add more so every time i need to just chuck washing in and start it i don't need to um, deal with soap everything is working well on that washing machine the one hassle that i found is um, the tray for fabric softener does not really get emptied all the time and as every time I come more and more fabric softener some sort of uh, design flaw it's not a crucial bit uh, I think most of the washing will be alright without fabric softener but if fabric softener is your thing that's the only thing that I'm not happy with the hair uh, washing machine after half year of use and when I say unhappy is just my kind of experience it does not derail my great view about washing machine if you ask me today if I would buy the same washing machine I definitely would for price point for uh, being Wi-Fi connected for many many things and also UV sanitization which is a great feature of that washing machine let's move further the dryer I still got my old house Samsung dryer which is I don't know after seven years now I'm still holding well. I link video uh, again above, and currently I've got um, uh, another dryer, uh, which is you know I, I again uh, link uh, above, which is the cheaper version I believe of Samsung, um, and it's performing quite well because I got uh, so much solar generation and whatever I'm not consuming get into waste. Uh, when I don't have time, I dry my washings now in a, in, a, in a heat pump dryer and it's working very well. I utilize it a lot. It's not slowing down. Beautiful. So my opinion about Samsung and other dryer did not change. So um, if you, after uh, any of those dryers, I highly recommend. On my opinion, they didn't fault on me. They're working well as advertised. And uh, another word of caution, people coming from a normal tumble dryer, the uh, heat or the vent, vented or heat vented uh, dryer, uh, there could be unpleasant surprise because it doesn't dry as fast. However, remember in a uh, vented dryer, uh, clothes getting heated and moisture displaced which is fogging up all your room and consuming all of uh, energy and heat pump, heat pump dry, it's almost like reverse air conditioner clothes getting dehydrated and water sucked out and dumped like as a washing machine dumping water uh, and which also um, power saving uh, a lot so uh, in a nutshell I'm very happy with both dryers they, in my books they same or similar so uh, by all means um, Feel free to uh, um, you know, buy one if you want to. If you're after more fancy brands, Bosch does beautiful uh, uh, job. It's three times more expensive, my opinion. The next one is Dyson and Electrolux uh, uh, vacuum cleaners. They are both battery cordless vacuum cleaners. I created a video on that, so I still got version 11, the replacement version 8 Dyson, and Electrolux is Q7. Uh, I, I cannot compare version 11 Dyson to Electrolux uh, Q7, they're not comparable, they just 
they're just totally different. Uh, Dyson miles ahead of Electrolux, there's no comparison there. However, if you're in a market for Dyson uh, V6, uh, I believe Electrolux could be a good budget alternative. Um, these days I put my Dyson V lever on maximum suction and I do all my carpets, it depletes the battery. It's still going strong after two years and then when I finish I take my Electrolux and I do tiles. Uh, it's a perfect combination and uh, I wouldn't do it any different. I still recommend both, however, um, if you're in a very, very budget, go for Electrolux. Otherwise, I still recommend Dyson V6 and above. Do not go anywhere below V6 or probably below V8 if you can afford. Dyson is a way to go with uh, cordless vacuum cleaners. Next one, uh, the pressure cooker, Philips pressure cooker, amazing device, I'm using it every week, uh, I'm create all sorts of different dishes, again I link uh, uh, above, um, if you didn't see my video about the pressure cooker, would I recommend it? Yes, I would definitely, it's a time saver, delicious dishes, however, uh, within the time, uh, I notice, uh, and it's not a big deal, but when um, it's very hot, like for example, you need to open the lid of uh, pressure cooker and close it again. The silicon seal would disconnect from membrane and it's really hard to put it back on. I think it's uh, a little bit uh, poor design, but when everything cools down, it's neatly fit. Um, so that's that. And also, I noticed that my brand that I'm talking about, where it's, uh, uh, silicon seal sits on, it's made of aluminium. And for some reason, my dishwasher tend to discolor it. I'm a bit concerned about the amount of oxidation going on in that aluminum membrane. But still, if I would buy that uh, Philips um, pressure cooker today, yes, I would. Amazing time saver, delicious dishes. Wouldn't go without it. So still highly recommend after a year of use. Another video I posted uh, recently was... Uh, um, a Samsung microwave that replaced my LG uh, that uh, LG my was third replacement of same microwave with same fault after two years I got sick of it so I bought more simpler uh, microwave which is Samsung it has its pitfalls yes uh, the light is not LED you cannot see inside it's not as powerful as LG but guess what it works and it's not failing uh, which I can I can say straight away I uh, was it's much more pleasant to work with LG the whole navigation buttons sliders how the way you open the door the capacity inside everything was great but you know what when micro fails every two years and you go that hassle to take it back try to convince shop to exchange in the warranty sometimes they take a week to assess your microwave and modern lives as such, we heat up everything in the microwave. Microwave is such an important tool in the household and being weak without it, it hurts. So I decided to go simpler and more reliable microwave. Would I still recommend it? Yes, it has its own disadvantages. I really would love to see food that I'm cooking inside in case it boils over or I would like to stop it. Yeah, Samsung has own faults, however, it does not break down so it still works well more than happy with uh, Samsung and price point is hundred dollars cheaper in Australia so if I would recommend Samsung microwave if you don't mind not perfect microwave that just works by all means beautiful microwave now Samsung Galaxy watch 4 that I purchased three months ago uh, when it was released um, I was not sure about it. Uh, by the way, I link the video above if you didn't watch that one. Uh, I thought to sell it after a couple of weeks of working with it. Why? Because the battery life is pretty poor. Uh, I have to recharge it every day. Um, I don't have to recharge it every day. Uh, by the end of the day, I've got around 50% battery left. And if I would not recharge on the second day, an hour before day ends, the battery would run out. That means uh, everything that I'm using it for, I would miss out. So as a precaution, I'm recharging every day. 
these days I don't mind, it's part of my routine, however I still believe in 2022 it's pretty bit uh, battery life for the watch. From functionality perspective, and that's why I didn't sell it, all sensors are working perfectly. The heart rate, the blood pressure, uh, uh, sleep detection, snoring, the blood oxygen levels, literally everything. And that puts it on a par probably with Apple Watch and maybe I would get an Apple Watch but I'm an Android guy and Apple Watch or Apple as a company decided not to create an uh, environment for Android. Well, what's the second best? Samsung Galaxy Watch 4. I'm not sure about Apple Watch. Maybe Samsung Watch 4 even better than Apple. I wouldn't claim anything. Uh, probably plenty of people screaming at me now. No, it's definitely not. I've got no idea. Uh, from the smart watch perspective, if you'd like blood um, uh, and, and, and blood pressure, uh, oxygen level, sleep, I cannot fault Samsung watch. The only one fault is uh, battery life. Other things working well, we can take calls on that watch, working perfectly, the mic is sensitive, you can type messages, reply to your messages, everything working perfectly. So people would say if I would still recommend Samsung Galaxy Watch, yes and no. If the price, if you pay full price for that watch, definitely not. Definitely would not recommend it because um, it's not worth it. If you can get very good discounted version of it, it's an amazing watch. By all means, you won't regret. Two years warranty in Australia, go for it. Then. I created a couple of videos about Scooter, uh, Xiaomi. 365 Pro version 2, link videos above if you didn't watch them. Um, I have it already for half a year, uh, believe it or not, I've done 1000 Ks on it. Where do I scoot? I scoot to uh, um, train, go to work, from train to work and back and uh, I play tennis uh, sometimes, so I, I go play tennis uh, uh, between house and then anyway every local small distance up to 5k's I would take a scooter I'm not driving a car so this is how I did 1000 k's on that scooter within half year I think I've got around 500 k's left on my tires uh, I bought a punctureless tire to put at the front it's a project because it's really hard to put on so if I would again buy the scooter yes and no again if you fancy for very fast speed if you fancy for all-wheel drive scooter um, lighter scooter heavier scooter it's not your choice if you would like a vanilla scooter does fantastic job and cost you almost nothing uh, everything relative uh, I would definitely recommend it I've got no regrets I'm so happy with it so that's my scooter and last point I want to touch is my Baccarat knives. It's a set of nine. I made a video about them. Uh, it's a lot, a lot of people out there rubbishing them that the, the steel is uh, not as good and the best, better, uh, worse quality. I explain why it is what it is. It's not better or worse steel. It's your skills, the way you use it. And if I'm happy a year later about my knives, Yes, I am. Would I recommend them? Yes, the video is linked above there. And also, all the products that I'm describing today, not all of them, most of them, I'll put links down below. If you keen to support this channel, and I really appreciate it, uh, click on links, explore, uh, like this video, subscribe to my channel, share it around. Thank you so much for watching, and let me know in the comment section if you would like me to make any other videos this year. Um, year only started and I'm keen to help you guys out to make your choices or discuss uh, what's on the market. Thank you so much for watching, Greg from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.